Hello students, welcome to the session of STM32 L4 MCU series. In this session, we will cover the onboard components available on this series. So this is this is your STM32 L476 nuclear board. The complete board is divided into two parts. You can see from here, it is there is a cutout. So this portion is your microcontroller unit part. So this portion is your ST link part that is your debugger. The main component embedded on this development board is ARM Cortex M4 MCU. Here it lies this ARM Cortex M4 MCU. Let us discuss about the brief features for this ARM Cortex M4. This ARM Cortex M4 supports FPU that is floating point unit. It supports MPU memory protection unit and it have ETM that is embedded trace microcell. It also supports direct memory access and provides ART accelerator. It have two different type of memories means one megabyte of flash memory and 128 kilobytes of RAM. Next we see about the connectivity features available on this core. This core provides USB OTG, multimedia communication, SPI communication, I2C, CAN, UART, USART and ultra low power UART. It also have digital and analog communication. For analog it supports 16 bit ADC and DAC with a temperature sensor and for digital it have training and SAI means serial audio interface option. The core supports 114 IOs for touch sensing controller and it have 17 different type of the timers depending upon their bits and their modes. So depending upon that it have 2 ultra low power timers, 7 16 bit timers and 2 32 bit timers and 2 16 bit advanced motor control timers. It also have parallel interface for connecting TFT LCD, SRAM, NOR and NAND and it have 8 cross 40 LCD driver. So all these are the features of this ARM Cortex M4 MCU. The next component on this board is push button. So it have two push button that is blue one and black one. The blue push button is a user peripheral interface and this black one is used for reset this microcontroller unit. The next component available here is the silver one that is the crystal oscillator. The frequency for this one is 80 megahertz. This one is your OTG that is used to connect with this platform board with the laptop or the desktop environment. It have three LEDs LED 1, LED 2, LED 3. The LED 1 is available on ST link side and LED 2 and 3 is available on the nucleus side. So LED 1 that is used for debug. Once the, your complete board is run in the debug mode, so this LED will blink in multicolor fashion. Here it, we can see there is LED 2 and here you can see there is LED 3. The LED 3 is power on LED for this board and LED 2 is inbuilt LED that is used to test and debug the sample programs. So these are the main components. Next we move on to the peripherals. So it have two different type of the connectivities or we can say two different types of extensions. So one is the extension for the Arduino Uno and the second is extension for ST Morpho extension. In this case you can see all the pin num configurations are given here. This one is similar to the Arduino board. So you can embed your Arduino Uno over here and you can interface it with this STM32 Nucleo board. Here this portion is used as a power analog pins from A0 to A5, digital pins are there, UART, SPI, I2C, all portions are available over here. So these all are the jumpers that are used for connecting the different parts. So these are the main features of this platform board that we are going to discuss or going to use in the next sessions. So thank you very much for this session. We will in next section we will cover about the STM32 Cube ID and we will run our first program to blink an LED using STM32 Cube and STM32 L476 nuclear board.
थैंक यू